Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back again in another video with me. So here in this video, I would like to show you my 10 favorite features that I frequently use on my Samsung devices as a student. And most of the features here are from the One UI 5.0, so if you haven't yet updated your software, please do, because there are lots of cool features that you can find there. Anyway, let's just jump right into the first one. Number 1. Modes and Routines So before we did half pixel routines, but now it is called Modes and Routines, which basically lets us open applications or change settings automatically to match our needs on our devices. So for the modes here, I have an editing mode that when it is turned on, it will automatically turn on the do not disturb mode and also restrict application usage that I choose here to help me focus more. Whereas for the routines, it can be enabled when some set criteria are met. So firstly, we need to choose what kind of action that will trigger this routine. And then we also need to choose what kind of action that this routine will do. So for example here, I'm gonna have a sleeping routine. So for the if, I choose manually. And for the then section, I choose the dark mode. And after that, we can also change the icons as well as the title for the routine. The fun part here is that we can also create the shortcuts of these routines as a new widget on our home screen. And here, as you can see, I'm going to add a new shortcut for the sleeping routine that I made earlier. So here are the six routines that I have and this one in particular is my favorite because as it said, it can notify me when it is fully charged. Here we can modify the battery level and for example, I choose 75% and so here is how it will sound like after it is fully charged. Fully charged battery fully charged. Unplug charger. Other routines that I frequently use is the docs and notes in split view and next one is the Samsung DeX so that I don't have to open it from the notification panel. Next routine that I have is before bed and here it will automatically turn on the dark mode as well as restrict some of the applications. And lastly, I have the Notion routine. Number two, multitask swipe. So we know that the split and pop-up view isn't new in Samsung, but after the latest update, now they provide what is called as swap gestures. And so once you enable these features, we can do the pop-up view by just swipe with one finger inwards from the top corner, whether from the right or the left towards the center of the screen. And for the split view, we can just swipe with two fingers from the side of the screen and then add the other app that you want to use. I think gestures like this really doesn't make it easier for us to use the devices more effectively. Another interesting feature that we can find after the latest update is the photo editor. So just like Samsung Notes, we can now draw a neat shape on this built-in photo editor. And so for example, here we want to draw a shape, we can just draw and hold it for a second and it will automatically draw a correct shape. Other feature is the object eraser which allows us to erase unnecessary thing in the picture without having to download any other third party application. Other feature from the photo editor is called snap to shape crop which basically helps you to crop certain objects that you choose. And I think this one is pretty useful, especially if you want to make stickers out of it. Number four, extract text. So this has become my other favorite feature from the One UI 5.0 as it can help us if we need to copy a certain text. So before the update, I had to use the Bixby Vision feature to extract text, which is pretty inconvenient. But now all I need to do is just simply long press on the text in the picture and it will automatically recognize it. This feature also works if we want to capture a certain text from the camera right away. You can just open the keyboard and choose extra text like this.
Number four, Samsung keyboard. So there's really nothing new about this feature, but I found myself to use this translation feature a lot on the keyboard. And also what I really like the most is this Samsung pass feature. So this feature allows us to save important information that we frequently use such as emails, addresses, passwords, or any kind of information that requires to be remembered. And it really does help me a lot because I am a forgetful person. So if I need to log in into an account, I can just open this feature. Number five, stack widget. So widget lets us to access certain functions of specific apps to provide a convenient access. And it is why it became a favorite. And with the latest update, now Samsung allows us to stack a lot of widget on our home screen and it really does help to make the home screen look clean. Number 6, Edge Panel So from this feature, there are certain panels that I frequently use. First is this clipboard panel and here as you can see, I can simply drag the copied text by just dragging it onto the page. And we can also share certain copied text from here. There's also a calculator panel. And so here, if I want to use a calculator instead of searching for the app, now I can just simply swipe the side of the screen. Next, there's also a panel filled with tools that I frequently use, such as timer and recording. The last panel that I love to use is this crop panel. It allows us to crop certain parts of the screen that we want to save. And the cool thing here is that we can pin the cropped part. And if you want to add this photo to the notes, for example, we can just drag it like this. And we can also send this photo by dragging it to a chat box. I really love this tool because it is so convenient and very effective. Number 8, Quick Share. This is the best way to share files between Galaxy devices and we can use this feature to send many kind of files including videos, notes, documents, photos, text, and many more. However, what I just recently found out is that it can also work for non-Samsung Android phone as well, even though it's not as fast and as seamless as between Samsung devices. Here you can see that there are three options at the bottom, which is an option to send files for non-Samsung devices. And for instance, I want to do a quick share via barcode. Here I just have to scan the barcode and the file will pop up and we can just download the file from there. Or other option is that we can use this copy link option to send the file via link and send it to the other person. Number 9, One Hand Operation Plus. So this feature requires us to download it from Samsung stores, but I can guarantee you that it is the most amazing feature of all I mentioned before. So this allows us to use to navigate the device more efficiently with just one swipe. By swapping your finger from the edge screen, you can easily access certain applications or gesture. Here are the example of the actions. We can also customize the arrows as well as the colors of it. Anyways, here are the gestures that I use on my phone. Last feature is called App Languages. So with the newest update, we can now finally change the language of specific applications. You can just go to the settings, search for App Languages, and here, for example, I choose Hangul as my Spotify language. And yeah, I think this feature is great for those of you who are currently learning new languages. 
Alright, I guess that is all for today's video. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!